Um, an interesting story out of Minamar, which I believe isn't getting enough publicity. And we're going to talk to somebody who is, uh, has, has really taken on a, a, a fantastic role in this whole controversy. And it has to do with ethnic cleansing. And it's a, it's a pretty heavy topic for this time of the morning. But it's just not getting the publicity. I, I believe it should. So we'll talk to uh, we'll talk to a gentleman by the name of Fareed Khan coming up here in a sec, and then we'll deal with the Emmys and a lot of other things and just a whole pile of information this morning on on my first day. There's a terrible thing happening in Myanmar, and uh, a man leading the way to really give this a lot of publicity is going to be our next guest, and uh, and we'll be talking uh, to him about that, and and. The honorary Canadian citizenship we gave to the leader of that country and why, in his opinion, and in the opinion of many Canadians, it should be taken away. That's coming up next. It's 642. Gene Valite is here. This is Roundhouse Radio Vancouver. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. You see, I'm allowed to make mistakes first day in the job. Fareed Khan is joining us. He's a government relations and communication consultant based in, in Ottawa. Good morning, Fareed. Good morning, Gene. And welcome to Roundhouse Radio. You're, you're, you're guest number two, so you're making a little bit of history today. Well, uh, I'm honoured, and for your listeners in Vancouver, I'd like to uh, welcome you back to Canadian Radio. For those people who don't know, uh, Gene was a staple on Toronto Radio for many, many years until he decided to find new opportunities in the U.S., so welcome back. Yeah, I haven't lived in Toronto in a million years, and we're not even going to... We're not... That's the last time that name gets mentioned. <laughs> Now, Fareed, um, you know, this is, I really wanted to have you on this morning. It's a, it's a pretty heavy-duty topic for a morning show, but I'm of the opinion that this just isn't getting enough coverage. So talk to me about what's happening in Myanmar and... and, 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 and Myanmar. Yeah, and, and its leader and, and, and why you became concerned. And then we'll talk a little bit about this honorary Canadian citizenship. But give us, give us the overview. Okay, well, I've, uh, I've been active in social justice issues for many years, and I've been following the plight of the Rohingya, which is a minority, uh, an ethnic minority in Myanmar. Um, and uh, the UN has called them the most uh, persecuted minority in the world. Um, for decades, they've been persecuted by the, uh, by the government of uh, formerly Burma, now Myanmar. Right. But in the last decade, the uh, persecution has reached a new level of uh, brutality. Mentality. And uh, just uh, recently, uh, I've been like doing the sort of things I think that a lot of Canadians do when they when they get concerned about an issue, you know, being active in the community, doing social uh, media, uh, trying to raise awareness. But I felt I needed to do a lot more, and especially to get the Canadian government to take action, because we had a direct connection to the leader of the current leader of Myanmar, Aung San Suu Kyi, uh, in that we gave her an honorary Canadian citizenship in uh, 2007. Yeah. Well, and so I for, started for read, the petition. Yeah. Yeah. Here, here's what uh, I think puzzles a lot of people, including myself. We have San Suu Kyi, who gets a, an honorary Canadian citizenship. She's also a Nobel Peace Prize winner. And, you know, when you put one and one together, honorary Canadian citizenship, a, a Nobel laureate, and she's involved in ethnic cleansing, like, I mean, the question that you have to ask is, how the, how the heck did something like that happen with that person? Yeah, I think I think that uh, anybody who uh, advocated for her when she was under house arrest and, and imprisoned for her democracy activities, um, she was uh, incarcerated for almost 20 years. Well, yeah, we remember and, that. Uh, yeah, and uh, Amnesty International was involved in uh, trying to, uh, you know, advocate for her. Uh, leaders, world leaders were involved, and so... To have her now be the leader of this country and, uh, you know, remain silent and not condemn the atrocities that are being committed. And, and the, the atrocities are horrific. They're just horrific. How many, um, how many people have died? Do you, uh, what's the estimate that she's well, responsible the number, for? The number is, the number is, uh, the exact number is unknown, but it's literally, uh, in the uh, thousands, probably tens of thousands. Mm. And the other, the, the other side of this uh, tragedy is that there's a huge humanitarian crisis taking place over four 400,000 uh, Rohingya have been pushed out of Myanmar by uh, the action of the military. Um, entire families are being killed, uh, villages are being burnt to the ground, and now those who are trying to escape are facing another, uh, um, another challenge because the military is putting landmines across 
across the border between Myanmar and Bangladesh, the country to which the, the uh, Rohingya are trying to escape. And Bangladesh, another you know, very impoverished nation, is suddenly having to care for the hundreds of thousands of people who are trying to flee uh, what's been called not just ethnic cleansing, but crimes against humanity and genocide. Mm. You know, it's interesting when something happens like this in a part of the world where uh, the, the rest of us in North America aren't aren't tapping those countries for resources or oil. It really doesn't get the coverage that it deserves. I mean, this is this is a catastrophe happening in front of us. And yeah, I don't know about you. When I watch the news, I don't see a lot about this. Well, there wasn't a lot about this up, up until recently, but in the last uh, week or so, it started to get a lot more attention. Certainly, the petition which I sponsored on Change.org has um, has raised awareness. It's now there's now over 25,000 people who've signed that petition, and I would encourage your listeners to go to Change.org to look for this petition under my name, Fareed Khan. My name is attached to that petition, and please to sign the petition and to share it uh, with uh, their social media and. Email email networks, because the more people that sign the petition, um, the greater pressure we can put on the uh, Canadian government, not to just uh, act on the, the Canadian citizenship honor, which is symbolic uh, in terms of uh, what can be done, but also to actually take real action on the ground with the United Nations and other international partners to actually save lives in, uh, in, uh, in Myanmar and to, uh, uh, to help with the humanitarian crisis that is now occurring in uh, Bangladesh. Just very quickly, we're almost out of time here, Fareed, at 648. Uh, the petition is to uh, take away the honorary Canadian citizenship. Uh, the, uh, am I correct? That's one of the uh, that's one of the um, asks in the petition. The other ask is that uh, the uh, Canadian government unequivocally condemn the brutal actions of the Myanmar government uh, for its state-supported uh, nationalist groups and the military who are committing ethnic cleansing and genocide, and also to take action to bring the perpetrators to justice and assist with the humanitarian effort that is going on to help all the refugees being created and also to uh, create a safe haven for the Myanmar uh, for the the Rohingya in Myanmar. Okay, give us that uh, address one more time. Yes, it's change.org, that's C-H-A-N-G-E dot org, and my name, uh, Fareed Khan, is attached to that petition, so uh, I would encourage your listeners to go uh, to the change.org website and uh, please sign on. Um, we as Canadians uh, have a connection to what's going on there, and we can do something about it uh, if uh, enough pressure is applied uh, on the government. Good job, Fareed. Thanks uh, for being with us here on Round Us Radio this morning. I appreciate it, and good luck. Thank you very much, Gene. Bye. It's 6.50. It's 10 before 7 o'clock. This is Roundhouse Radio Vancouver. I'm Gene Velitis.